The puppies keep growing and growing. I think we're going to need a bigger box. I'm Sharon Osborne, and you're watching The Litter. By week five, the puppies are bigger than ever. And trying to climb out of their whelping box every chance they get. They're much more mobile now, getting around as fast as their little legs will carry them. Still a bit wobbly, but the progress is staggering. They're also getting more vocal and just starting to get down to the very important business of play. The old crate just isn't going to cut it anymore. Guess what, Hope? You guys are getting a home makeover. These lucky pups will have plenty of room to roam in their new whelping box. I'm sure Hope will really appreciate the extra space too. Everyone make way for the work crew. We're just going to tuck the kids away while our construction crew goes to work. The new whelping box will double the amount of room the kids have to run around. It should last them until they're ready to get adopted. Oh, and I know you kids want to help. How are you pups with a hammer? Don't worry, Leroy. Leave the construction work to the professionals. Just sit there and be cute. Perfect. While the crew puts the finishing touches to the new place, we have time for a weigh-in. Let's find out exactly how much bigger these boys have gotten. To the scales. Wow, they've packed on plenty of pounds. They're gonna need that extra room. Well done, gentlemen. Okay, Hope family, are you guys ready to see your new home? Move that bus. That's a place you can really grow into. Looks like everyone loves their new home. There's still something missing though. Toys. For dogs of all breeds, toys are not extras. They are essentials. Chewing on toys helps dogs relieve stress and boredom. Toys also help them learn what they are and aren't allowed to chew on. And they're a must for teething puppies. Playthings of various textures and firmness help ease the difficult stages of teething discomfort. Mix it up. See what toys your dog likes best. Also, it's really cute. This is way more fun than chewing on mum. Hope agrees. No hope, chew your toys, not your babies. No, that's Munro. I know he looks like a toy. The puppies love playing with their new toys. What they don't realize is how much they're learning in the process. As pack animals, dogs want to know their place in the pecking order. Playtime is when they start to figure out who's top dog and who's less dominant. 
The toys are great for practicing on. Take down three points. Through the process of pinning, biting, escaping, and reversing the roles, the puppies also learn how rough they can play with each other. They find out how hard they can bite before their playmate decides, I'm out of here. So if a chomp happy puppy wants to keep playing, he knows he's going to have to ease up a bit. That's better. Playing is also a bonding experience. puppies discover a level of roughhousing that's comfortable, fun, and non-threatening. They carry this experience with them throughout their lives. See, playing isn't just all fun and games. Sweet dreams, you kids. Glad you love the added space and your new toys and are growing up so healthy and strong. Whoops, one more thing. Hope's belly rub. Good girl, Hope. Have you adopted from a shelter? Please share your stories in the comments section. Next time on The Litter. The little tykes, puppy personalities really start to shine through.